Okay, I just wanted to give you guys some data real quick. I've been looking all morning at uh, how the Nintendo Switch cartridges work. Now, what's going on with the Wii U is not a normal situ situation. That NAND flash is degrading faster because of a flaw in the system. And it's not necessarily going to affect all Wii U's. There's not enough data out there to know yet. So I wouldn't get like super like nervous about it. It's still pretty low numbers as far as I can tell. Although we have had some people in the comments down below say that that has been a problem. Now, I was turned around yesterday on some of the things I knew about flash memory by a user, I think Dakota J in the comments down below. And I wanted to look up on the switch cartridges and he was talking about like fuse blown like ROMs and stuff like that and how we can still have like mask ROMs. So it turns out that uh, the switch has uh, different files, different like, you know, um, chip sizes for the cartridges. So to, in the one, two and four gigabyte range, it's like a daughter board with a soldered on like a uh, flash chip of some type. And when you get up to the 8, 16, 32, and now 64 gig carts that are able to be made for the system, those are using a lot of times like a different type of process for specifically Nintendo first party, but it seems like a lot of third party uh, manufacturers are just using the same thing Nintendo's using, which is um, it is extra ROM by uh, Micronix. And apparently that is rated to last about 20 years. And they're saying that's at a like storage of 85 degrees C. So realistically, it's probably more like 30, 40 years is what you can expect out of this thing. And when it comes to the smaller sizes, if they're using flash memory, the type of flash memory they're using, they're rated at least 10 years. So realistically, if you're storing it in a nice room somewhere, probably more like 20 years. There could be some third parties out there that are using cheap flash on their cartridges and having them manufactured elsewhere or with like a lesser type of memory. But it seems like for the most part, most of your cartridges are pretty safe for a while. Nothing lasts forever. Everything degrades over a period of time, but I don't think you would necessarily need to worry about it. If you want to look it up for yourself, the type of technology Nintendo is using is called ASIC Extra ROM by uh, Micronix. And yeah, so that apparently has a very long shelf life. And the reason they're using it is because it has uh, a way to have DRM built into it to keep you from like being able to read the ROMs or something like that. You guys don't really have anything to worry about anytime soon with the Nintendo Switch carts and your physical collections. At the lowest, it seems like most of them are going to be about 10 years. And there's very few cheap or possibly cheap flash memory in these carts. Uh, the majority of the Nintendo stuff, you're looking at about 20 years and most likely more like 30, 40 years before any kind of real degradation happens to these carts. So I wasn't trying to fear monger or anything like that, just so you guys know. I'm just trying to get you guys the best information that I can. And uh, I'll leave links to everything that I found below um, so you guys can like look up all this and pursue it more if you want. But realistically, when it comes to the Wii U and why this is happening, once again, Somebody that maybe is a little bit better at understanding this kind of stuff, like maybe a MVG or somebody else on YouTube would be better to know all the answers to this stuff. Um, but I'm glad to see a lot of you guys are taking games preservation and preservation of your own stuff a little bit more seriously now. And when it comes to the, uh, buying games on the Nintendo Switch on the eShop, turns out it's fairly easy just to copy your content on your external SD card and then putting it on another SD card and restoring it. There's a whole bunch of tips online on how to do that and people have been able to do that successfully. So it looks like it's all good guys for the most part. Don't worry about it.